Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we got first place, baby. First place, the Remy Cord Magician deck profile that is going to be taking advantage of the future of Pendulums, and that is Artifact, Degda, and Scythe. So if you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. If you guys haven't already, we only have two left. We only have two left of the beautiful Joker Kieran in Double Iris Playmat. So get it on tripgaming.com. And lastly, we are now officially starting Trip Gaming memberships. So if you guys want to check out the membership, check out down below in the first link. Memberships are literal coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, and everything about baby. So if you guys this video, smash the subscribe button, give us a thousand likes, and let's get started on this amazing first place, the Remy Court Magician Jack Profile. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. I want to give a massive shout out to Dino Spashovsky for finishing first place in Australia with this deck. It worked out great. I'm going to showcase you guys right now two random combo tutorials. I did it two test hands. And as a pen god, I already know what the combos are. I can just see the deck and tell you. I asked him how it was, and it was really based on Dagda, this whole deck. So as you guys see here, one thing I love about this deck is... It's very good versus Droll. It's very good. If they Droll me on Dark Worm, I don't care. Because Elegance plays through Droll incredibly. Because it places cards on the scale and not adds cards. So despite the fact of Elegance not working well with Endymion, at least it destroys Droll. So this is a very good thing. So here this play, it sucks to open Noble Dragon. Because Noble Dragon is your target for Needle Fiber. But at the end of the day, this works out fantastic. I'll show you guys a very cool combo here. I'm sure Spashovsky, Dino Spashovsky, who's a fellow Macedonian as well, baby. Let's go. So here I'm going to show you guys a very cool combo. And this is just a deck. It is susceptible to Nibiru. Absolutely. This deck is definitely susceptible to Nibiru. But it is very good against every hand trap, uh, like Droll and stuff. And if you hand trap, do soft hand traps like Ash or Imperm, it's also good because you have, you're going to have to Imperm each of the cards in hand. And you always have scales. So for this hand, you always have scales. Uh, and th that's that. So here you're going to see the combo here. The combo could be done a thousand ways. On the Harmonizing Summon, all you want is to set up a Dagda. It doesn't even need to be before the Pen Summon. It could be after the Pen Summon by many ways. And then you're going to want to... So you set the Scythe here. And then you play Dragon Caller. You just need a level 7. Dragon Caller could be any level 7. But it, this deck, it, it does need more low scale. So it's good that he's playing Dragon Caller here. And then he does not play Cross Sheep. So if I was him, I would play a Cross Sheep over here. And a Selene. He doesn't play those. So what he could do is Cross Sheep at the zone uh, beside Unicorn, summon a Vortex, and summon the Noble Dragon. Then you can do some very cool plays here. But uh, in his, this cool, uh, because we're out of Needle Fibers, otherwise we could easily Needle Fiber. I'm gonna do a cool play, I'm gonna show you guys here. So we're gonna go Unicorn, Vortex, and then we're gonna make Noble Dragon in the graveyard target the Vortex Dragon because it's an Odd Eyes monster. So now the Noble Dragon is, uh, Vortex is level four, and Noble Dragon is level three. So here we have many cool plays we can do. Here we can go Meteor Burst, to special Kutea to add Meteor Burst to special Kutea. We can do a lot of cool things. Uh, we already have a level seven. We have lots of cool plays we could do. So what we're gonna do is go instead of Meteor Burst. We could do that. What we're gonna do instead is go Tornado Dragon uh, and just set up an Appaloosa. And then the Angalea here is gonna set out your, your interruption of the Doremi Chords. And then the opponent's turn Tornado Dragon will just pop the site. And then your opponent can't play because you site them and you protect the site with the Vortex, the Appaloosa, and the Galea. And this play had so many options. If you didn't have level 7s, you go Meteor Burst with a Noble Dragon to summon out the level 7 Butea, summon Butea to get an add. It's very good. We don't really need the, the follow-up because the follow-up is going to get be Celest uh, Celestial is going to add Butea anyways. Then the opponent's turn, we just simply Artifact Scythe. I'm going to show you guys another replay, and then I'm going to show you guys the deck profile. This deck's sick. Let's go. This right here is another combo tutorial. And they all do the same thing. Again, if you're going to uh, draw on the... Uh, on the if you're gonna draw on the dark room it literally just doesn't matter so here there's many plays many ways you could do this what i opted to do was i just wanted to place a high scale and i wanted to resolve the fact of fanseya in my hand this ensures that you get great Seiya. i want to showcase you guys that this deck has a huge follow-up so i'm gonna play this version more this uh combinatorial more follow-up orientated and not more or so orientated on the end board your goal is just to set up Scythe with Vortex. If you set up Scythe, Vortex, and a way to pop the Scythe, you win. 
and there's many ways to do it. So last hand we opened Noble Dragon, this hand we didn't. So I'm gonna show you guys a Noble Dragon combo here. So here, one option you could do this is, is Dagda. There's so many ways you could do this board. It is not linear. You could do this a thousand ways, this whole combo. I'm gonna show, this is one way to do it, where you go Dagda, then you just go into uh, Needle Fiber after, set it, but that's not the best way. There's many ways. You could just go Needle Fiber with Harmonizing and Dark Worm. There's many ways to do it, but I wanna set up a Vortex. So we're gonna fast forward a bit. And I'll show you guys the real best way here. So what we're gonna do is go Needle Fiber to Special the Noble Dragon. Needle Fiber Special Noble Dragon. And then you're gonna, Noble Dragon to be at the bottom of the deck and you Special Meteor Burst. And then Meteor Burst goes Special Kutea, but we don't want a Special Kutea because you have to count how many monsters you have in the field. So we know that we need another level seven and Dragon Caller uh, and uh, Meteor Burst gives you the level seven, but then it just gives you an absolute dragon. An absolute dragon can't be sent to the grave. I would like to see a Dremi Cord uh, uh, extender in the deck. Uh, he opted not to play it, which is fine. It is a good card, but it does brick occasionally. So uh, what we could have done is special Kutea and then spe add the Drumea and then special the extender, but it it's not played. So what we're going to do, or in this version, so what we're going to do instead is special the Angalea because Angalea is a one card interruption by itself because Angalea is going to be able to summon out Kulia. So what we're going to do here is instead of summoning the uh, Kutea, we're going to summon out Angalea, which will bring out Kulia, and then our Meteor Burst and, Dra and level 7 Dragon Caller. We're not going to do this yet, we're going to do that a little later. Then we're going to uh, link those into Dagda, summon Vortex, and then to trigger the Dagda, we wait for Angalea, and then we special Kulia out after the Dagda is out there. And then because Angalea triggered on the field, Dagda will, will resolve to special uh, set sites from the deck. Then you're going to activate Harmonia to add your follow-up of Angalea. And that's your hand. So you're going to have a, a Vortex. And the way you have to pop the Scythe is you use Needle Fiber. You banish the Needle Fiber to special TG Wonder Magician. TG Wonder Magician on your opponent's turn uh, could pop a, a set card. So in that scenario, you would pop the Scythe. You would protect it with Vortex. And then your opponent cannot special summon. And then you use the Scythe and the TG Wonder Magician later when the card comes out into Baronis the Floor. Unfortunately, that card is not out yet. Uh, but when it does, that would be an insane combo that I can't wait. And I truly think that's the future of Pendulums. And I will be making a video on my version of this deck, but with Baronis, uh, also with a Dark Ruler out. A big issue with this is that there is no Dark Ruler out. Because if you Dark Ruler the Needle Fiber on Main Phase 1, you cannot use Needle Fiber Effect to pop the site. So that is one issue I do have with this version. But there are many ways to, to make this uh, uh, Dark Ruler proof. And what I would personally like to include here is Zephyrus. Because... In this version, uh, you don't need to focus on the Vortex Dragon. You just focus on Baronis the Floor with Divine Strike. And you have access to the Zephyr War just in case if you need to pop a card. Anyways, these are the two combo tutorials. Different hands, different ways to do the combo. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the deck profile. And again, massive shout out to Dino Spachowski for clapping everyone in Australia with this. It was a big locals and he went undefeated and clapped everyone with it. Now I'm going to showcase you guys... The deck, uh, the deck list. This is the deck list. He's playing triple Kutea, triple Gracia. I want to see triple of each of these. I also want to see. So he's playing Fanseya, which is cool. It is a good card, uh, but I think it's a solid at one. I think Butea is also solid at one, but there's a reasoning behind why he's playing more Butea. For one, the Dremi cores don't have good low scales. Uh, you're the low scales you want to pen summon like Angalea, and the deck itself, unless unless you have access to Dark Worm, just doesn't have a good low scale. So I'm happy with playing a low scale Butea as well as a level 7. This is very important. This deck is very reliant on going Vortex Scythe. So if you go Vortex Scythe and a way to pop the Scythe, whether it be Tornado Dragon or Needle Fiber, then you, you, you win if they don't have Dark Ruler. So, uh, so that's the goal. And you need more level 7 for that. And that's what Butea offers. As well as the fact that Butea is an auto win versus Edlich. Uh, you got one Angalea. I would like to see more Angaleas. I think Angalea is the best one in this deck. I would like to see Triple Angalea. Uh, with, without Triple Angalea, I wouldn't even play Kulea. Uh, they work incredibly well together. Uh, triple Harmo, that's great to see. I would like to see one Celestial, uh, Dragon Caller, and then he's playing Noble Dragon because uh, it's a Needle Fiber target as well as it's a Magician uh, name, which is also very helpful. And Meteor Burst is insane in this deck, especially when you go Dragon Court Elegance to, to scale the Kutea, and then you just use Meteor Burst to Special and get its effect off. I would, would like, so this side deck is not a, his side deck. This is just cards. I would like to see go in the deck. This is not his actual side deck, but I would like to see a, a Dormy Court Drumea come in here. It shows it, it would be very cool when you Meteor Burst, special the Kutea, Kutea, special the Drumea, special the Drumea again. 
So I would like to see this. Uh, one Poison, one Jackal. I would also like to see these. Uh, he's not playing Magician Souls, so this is a budget version. I would like to see Magician Souls because of Time Star. It offers a lot of plays with Selene and Cross Sheep and Access Code going second and Time Star. So I would like to see this, but it's okay. This deck worked out amazing. So nonetheless, it's still a very solid deck. One Gate Zero, Double Dark Room, Triple Revolution. I like here that he's playing Aether and Luster. So Revolution has so much more effect than just a Dark Room. I would like to see different scales because they are Dark Room scale 5, Aether scale 4, Luster scale 5. I would like to see different scales here. Uh, Dark Room does get a low scale, but I would like to see some scale 8 searchable card with Revolution instead of Luster. But Luster is also played because it's an Alliance target. Uh, but maybe instead of Luster, it would be good just to play the level 7 Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Not Odd Eyes Revolution, sorry, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Yes, it's a vanilla, but it's a Duelist Alliance target and an Revolution target. And this offers you, allows you to play Sky Iris, which is insane with Magicians. And could work incredibly well with, with Soulful Court Elegance. You can go Elegance to uh, put, uh, for example, to put a Gracia in the scale. And you just Sky Iris pop it and then you Pendulum Summon it. So it's very cool. You can do a lot of cool plays. Uh, Aether is very cool with Seal. Sometimes you get Seal off. Scythe and Dino Wrestler, so very interesting choice, main deck Dino Wrestler. Dino Wrestler is very good both going second and going first in Pendulums, because if you hard draw Dino Wrestler going first, you just pen summon him. And he's an interruption, a big interruption. So it's a free negate, to be honest. It's a Dryden at 2600 attack. So it's a solid addition to any single Pendulum deck, and I do like that addition. One Harmonia, all you need. Triple Elegance, great to see. One Foolish, one Shrine, that's a good number. Without the Strudo, I don't want to have too many of these. I prefer to pen call away the Dark Worm. He's playing five Dark Worms, five pen calls, solid number. One One for One, uh, One for One Special Skutea. I am not a fan of One for One because in Pendulums, you want to save your cards, and I don't want to discard any card in my hand. I'm sure there's a lot of cool plays you could do where he goes pen call, search Noble Dragon, One for One, discard Noble Dragon, make Vortex, special Noble Dragon. So that's very cool how you could do that. And uh, one Musica, which at the end of the day is a Dormammu Court interruption. And it, there are definitely hands where you could set up a Scythe with the Musica. So that's very good. It, it, very, very good. Where you could pop a card to control and you have a Scythe. Uh, so that's solid. Uh, these are, like I said, are just cards I would like to see in the deck uh, form. The, you don't need to play the full list of some of these cards. This is my assumption would be the deck would be better with a few of these in here. Uh, the, as far as the uh, main extra that goes, you got Dagda, you got Needle Fiber, main part of the combos. You got Mascarena and Seal. You got Unicorn, which is very good for going second, obviously, and Mascarena. Apalooza, you got a Boral Sword over the Axis Code, which is great. You would love to, you need to see at least one of these in the extra deck. One TG Wonder Magician. This is the card that's insane with the new Baronis card. When it comes out, we'll use it together. TG Wonder Magician, Meteor Burst, Savage Dragon, works out very good. Ignister, very good for going second. You got a special, a, a Lesser Pendulum. Uh, and then you got a Dweller, you got a Tornado, you got an Absolute and a Vortex. I love this deck. I love the idea behind the deck. It works out incredibly well. And an amazing thing I love with the Doremi and Magicians is that they are very good versus Droll. If you hard draw Harmonizing or hard draw like, like any of these, you're, you're perfect. You're, you're great. If they Droll you, you're still going to get a bunch of interruptions out. So that's a, a huge plus of this deck, especially with everyone playing Droll right now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is... Dino, Dino Sparshovsky version of Doremi Chord Magicians. And if you guys want to see more Doremi Chord, let me know and I'll happily do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, smash the like button. We're almost at a thousand. Let, let's get the video to a thousand likes. And we're almost at 45,000 subscribers. So smash the subscribe button. And if you guys want to join the Trip Gaming membership, check out the link down below. Amazing coaching one on one, live together exclusively, baby. If you like the video, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!